Being a latecomer in a mighty race to space, China has picked up the pace significantly in the past few years. After facing early setbacks, the Chinese space program picked up major developments on the road and set up major records in a way that stunned the world. The nation boasts its own space station currently in orbit, being one of the two space stations and eyes from all over the world are now set upon the Tiangong Space Station after NASA revealed the soon departure of the International Space Station in this decade. Satellites, moon program, and a rover on Mars, the nation doesn't plan on stopping just yet, and the future is looking bright to say the least. But that's not all. The Chinese government and the Chinese space program has actively revealed their intentions about having international cooperation regarding most of their space missions and even helped several countries in speeding up their own space programs. In today's episode, we are going to cover how China is leading the space culture for nations all over the world. This is Race to Space, and if you like watching content like this, consider subscribing. Currently, one of China's major achievements in space that still amazes the world is their Tiangong space station. Some could even say their space station was a response to the infamous ban of China from the International Space Station. The nation launched its first space lab, Chang'an 1 in September 2011, setting the foundation for their space station. The T-shaped space station is expected to complete before 2022 ends and is currently fully operational. Recently, the last module of the space station, Mengshin Space Lab, was prepped for launch and the nation, as well as the world, is waiting for its launch to finally complete the second space station. Shanwen 1 is one of China's major space achievements that embedded the nation's mark in history books. Launched in 2020, the mission initially carried on for a year and the notorious Zhurong rover touched down in 2021, making China the first nation to complete a successful Martian rover mission in its maiden attempt. China also became the second nation to land a rover on Mars and the third nation with an active Martian mission. Even now, as we speak, the Zhurong rover continues to explore the red planet's surface and relay back information to Earth for scientists. The space program stunned the world when it landed the world's first rover on the first side of the moon for exploration. The Chang'e pronounced Chang'e Air is an extremely ambitious and reliable program by the Chinese Space Agency that has achieved significantly and continues to do so. With excellent information relayed back from the moon, the nation also has a first-of-its-kind mission set up with the Russian Space Agency for a moon base by 2030. If successful, this mission will shape the future of humanity's space exploration. While talking about achievements, it would be wrong not to mention the Chinese Long March rocket family. The Long March rockets have a history of successful space missions and continue their streak of successes. The Mengshin module, which is the final piece of the Tiangong space station, is expected to launch on a Long March 5B rocket, which leaves no room for failure given the history of the rocket's successes for space missions. In an impressive initiative, the astronauts from the Tiangong Space Station live streamed to an audience of students on Earth and answered their questions while lecturing them about all things space-related. The third live class from China's space station was held recently, delivered by Shenzhou 14 crew members Chen Dong, Liu Yang, and Kai Xuxi to students on Earth. The main classroom is located at the Technology and Engineering Center for Space Utilization, Chinese Academy of Sciences. The class is also being attended by students from other three classrooms in Yunnan, Henan, and Shandong. It is the first science lecture from the Wenchen Lab module. The previous two lectures of the Tiangong class series were delivered by the Shenzhou 13 crew from the station's core module TNA. The lecture content includes a capillary effect experiment, the vibration of liquid and liquid-solid mixtures, drinking water with a super long straw, rotating and flipping wrenches, and introducing a plant growth study. The astronauts first gave an introduction of the Wenchen lab module. They noted that Wenchen has an independent control system. It can take over the operation and control of the whole space station when the Tian core module has emergencies. Apart from the lecture, the astronauts also had interactions with the students and answered their questions as well as they did in the past. A girl asked about the most beautiful view from space. Kai said his favorite is the atmospheric glow blanketing the Earth's horizon. Its color can change from time to time, sometimes gold, sometimes blue, and sometimes even purple. When answering a question from a Beijing student about how to become an astronaut, Chen said that China has started selecting the fourth batch of reserve astronauts, adding that the spacecraft pilots will be recruited from the in-service pilots of the armed forces. 
It will be the first time to select payload specialists from the Hong Kong and Macau Special Administrative Regions, said Chen. An achievement, as well as a beautiful initiative in itself, China solidifies their statement of welcoming international cooperation in the space program by this act. Keep in mind that the live streams by the astronauts on board the Tiangong Space Station are not restricted to Chinese audience. Several African nations have had their students attend these lectures while also interacting with the astronauts. In one of our previous episodes, we talked about China's collaboration in space with other countries. What we learned was how China was no stranger in helping tons of developing countries in their space programs and launching their satellites into space. Moving forward, China has its eyes on using even more rarefied space infrastructure for international collaboration, human spaceflight, interplanetary missions, and research bases on the moon. In early 2022, China's State Council Information Office published the nation's space program in a white paper. The word international appears in the document 59 times, while China appears 167 times, and almost every major mission discussed in the paper has an international component. As the paper notes, since 2016, China has signed 46 space cooperation agreements and or MOUs with 19 countries and four international organizations. The white paper also makes specific reference to collaboration with Pakistan, Egypt, Tunisia, Saudi Arabia, Argentina and others. The paper also notes several key areas for future international cooperation, which include global governance of outer space, manned human spaceflight, satellite navigation, deep space exploration, space technology, applications, and space science. In short, a lot of support for international collaboration moving forward. In way, China is ready and set to lead the space culture for developing and developed nations. The near expiration of the International Space Station will also help in making the developed countries look towards China for their space missions as the only space station in orbit would be the Tiangong Space Station. Other than the overall international collaboration, China has also launched an initiative in hiring their next batch of astronauts from Hong Kong and Macau. Welcoming potential candidates from these sectors, the nation aims to train their next batch of taikonauts for future manned space missions. This recruitment drive provided an opportunity for candidates from Hong Kong and Macau to achieve their space aspirations while contributing to the country's growing space program. Hong Kong's technology minister has said he expects intense competition in the city among those fighting for a spot on a national space program, while scholars suggest that local researchers can contribute with their expertise in biomedicine and artificial intelligence. With everything about how China is leading the space culture for nations all around the world covered, it's time to wrap this one up. If you have any topics in mind, be sure to comment below and we'll cover them for you. As always, subscribe to never miss out. This is Race to Space and we'll see you in the next one.